Hello YouTube. So there I was, last flight of the night. I was doing all the tricks. At 30% battery, I thought, let's do one more trick. So I hit a power loop. Nailed it. One more trick, I said. Inverted draw spin. Nailed it. As I came out of that, I thought, one more trick. So I went for it. And then, wham, lost my video feed. I pulled my goggles down to look at my visual observer to ask him, hey, where'd it go? He had no idea. He had a general idea, but he couldn't pinpoint where exactly it landed. It was in the cornfield. I pressed the C1 button to see if I could hear it beeping. I heard nothing. Was the battery disconnected? I put the goggles back on to try the camera view before loss function, which should have given me the last 30 seconds of flight. However, it showed me the last 30 seconds of a wrong video. I took a deep breath and thought back to the video that I made on how to find your drone when you lose it. I looked on the DJI Fly app on my phone, clicked on profile, clicked on more to access my flight log and see where the drone had landed. The flight was not on my logbook. What the heck? Murphy! You know, Murphy's Law. I checked my goggles again and it regained video feed. I wonder if this is what the drone sees right now. It's pointed up at the sky, so that's a good thing. Maybe I could fly my drone over it and see where it is. So I launched the DJI Mavic 3 Pro Cine to try and locate the drone. I did so many sweeps back and forth along the cornrows. It was buried too deep, I thought, and it was getting dark. I couldn't find it. I thought about walking through the corn, but it was dusk and it was getting darker fast, and I didn't have a compass on me. I'm sure I had a flashlight, but I've never been in a cornfield before and I was not about to get into a cornfield at the beginning of dark. So I decided to leave. Mixed emotions, of course. Sad, anger, frustration. And of course, I'm not surprised. On my drive home, as always, I thought, what could I do better next time? Should I have not done one more trick? Why didn't the find my drone function work? Maybe I could install a third party tracker like those uh, air tags or tile units so I could find out with my cell phone in the future. Regardless, so many thoughts raced through my head as I drove home. I learned from the club president that the club has a tracker that we could put on the planes and a radar gun that will locate it for you. The next day, I created this SAR mission plan. Pause if you want to read it. My initial mission plan only included me because I didn't know who was going to be at the airfield to help me. Do you know what they say about the best laid mission plans? The best plans never survive first contact. In this case, contact was the corn and my inexperience with a corn field. I've never been inside of a corn field before, but that wasn't going to stop me. At a minimum, I would make sure that I go inside there prepared, at least prepared for what I believed I needed to be prepared for. After all, the scout motto is be prepared. How crazy would it be if I went in there and then emerged 50 years later? <laughs> On my way to conduct a search and rescue mission of drone 024, the DJI FPV. When I got home last night, I connected the goggles to my iPad, which produced the last flight of my flight log and gave me an overhead map of where my drone landed. So basically it's at the end of the runway in the second grid of the cornfield. 30 rows of corn. Very hard to tell. I approximated, of course. And so, yeah, that's where we're at right now, YouTube. <laughs> we'll see. Upon arrival, I was greeted by Marios and Charlie, who were flying that morning. Unfortunately, Charlie had landed his RC plane in the cornfield near the end of the runway, but they couldn't find it. As soon as I parked, I launched my drone, sent it to the approximate location that it landed in, and within three minutes, I found his RC plane. It was so easy to see. It was sitting on top of the corn. After locating Charlie's drone, I started my search for drone 024 using drone 028, the Mavic 3 Pro, to no avail. The corn leaves were too close together and dense to see anything. So, I landed and decided to prepare for phase two of the plan. Plus, I really wanted to walk through the corn because I was prepared. <laughs> According to the DJI Fly app's flight path map, my drone is here. The plan is to stand at the end of the runway, shoot a bearing into the cornfield, in this case 130 degrees, enter the corn and foot patrol to the first irrigation ditch. Once I get to the irrigation ditch, I will have Marios launch his helicopter and fly a line back and forth between the end of the runway and the right edge of the large tree in the distance. His flight path will provide me with an overhead visual and point of reference to keep me on track. His battery will eventually die and I'll use my compass to continue my land nav through the corn. Walking through the corn right now, which isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. 
I'm basically just scooping through it's pretty bulky right now though. I'm trying not to disturb the corn as I go through the spaces. Do like this. So this is what I got going on. All right, so here's that irrigation ditch. I made it through. Looking for that tree, and I can't see it from here. Too short. I think I stayed on a pretty straight line getting through that that cornfield. I'm going to look left and right as I go through. So let's see if I can see it. Because check it out. Look at how clear it is down there. This way and this ways. I could probably see it just by taking my time. Let's do this. There's Marios with his helicopter. He's basically flying in lines back and forth at the end of the runway to make sure that I'm on heading. Good job, Marios. Thank you very much. All right, so I'm 26 rows in and I'm pretty sure that's the count I was at. And I'm gonna keep going another couple more. Let's see. Nothing there. Look at all this dead sticks. I'll bet you it's nearby here because I'm sure that the uh, the drone would have chopped some stuff up and no freak. <laughs> Dude, there it is. Heck yeah, found it. No freaking way. Look at how it is. So it's actually not on the ground. There's no way I would have seen that from the ground, from the, from the sky. But right at the edge of the runway, look at that. Oh man, no way, dude. Oh wow, look. That broke off. The antenna, the stalks are strong. Wasn't flying out of this. Wow, awesome. So, that took, that. Whew, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be and it's right at the end of the runway. Holy cow. The, uh, that's pretty accurate, that dang GPS, uh, the find my drone thing. So this is a great success. Good job to DJI for telling me where it is. Great job to Marios for flying his helicopter, kept keeping me on track um, and and such. As you can see, I doffed my gear, then left helipad and the drone back at the spot because at the, at the ditch because at the ditch because at the ditch because being inside of this. I mean, look at this. I can't see nothing from underneath here. You know. I mean, look at this canopy. You know. But I found my drone. <gasps> Broken, but I still found it. So now I got something to send back to DJI to repair. All right, YouTube. So what do you think about that? Within 24 hours, I found my drone. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be to, you know, bushwhack through that corn. But I did basically just split it through by doing this, said Charlie. I was, I'm very grateful that the plan changed, uh, had some additional resources on hand to help me locate the drone. I hope you enjoyed watching this, YouTube. I'm looking forward to making more of these search and rescue videos for you guys and just giving you the lessons that I've learned. Thank you again, Marios and Charlie, for your assistance in loading, helping me locate my drone. So. It is time to get out of here. I am so itchy right now, and this part of my arms right now are it's so itchy. So I need a I need a shower. I don't want to play anymore. But <laughs> all right, until next time, YouTube. Thanks for hanging out with me today.